So what brought you into the project? Joel Wyman brought me into the project. Um, Joel had done the pilot and he was looking for a, a collaborator, somebody who you know, had come from the, the crime world or the crime procedural world and I, I had been on CSI for eight years and um, and uh, we met and we hit it off and you know for me this is like sort of coming back to a first love because my my for many many years I had done science fiction I was on Star Trek The Next Generation and Outer Limits and Farscape and it's like that this is like for me it was a great opportunity to get away from you know dismembered corpses and uh, autopsy scenes and you know the, the, the straight up procedural crime drama into a world where we could explore you know futurism and um, that was incredibly alluring to me and, and I think Joel did an amazing job with Fringe and aesthetically we have very very similar tastes um, and um, so that's how that's why I'm here and what are you going to bring to the table as far as you have a that's a huge background in sci-fi I plan on bringing nothing to the table, well, <laughs> nothing whatsoever. I want Joel to carry me, um, and that's actually my plan. Um, no. Um, <laughs> liar. Uh, liar. Um, you know what? We're, we're doing. Um, we're attempting something that's that's kind of tricky. Is we're trying to do a show about futurism, a show with interesting mysteries that are self-contained, that are that have cops in it with with a you know continuing character arcs like NYPD Blue did so brilliantly. We want all of those things. And it's like with the, you know, with the visual, you know, poetry that was so prevalent in Fringe and the, the, the great mysteries and, and procedural crime solving that was in CSI. So we're, we're trying to marry all of that stuff together. Um, you know, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> um, but I, I think that at, at this time in the world, People are so technologically sophisticated. They're fascinated by it. I think maybe the world is is, is ready. Maybe the audience is ready for a show like this. Um, if we give them a glimpse of a future where they can see, you know, little seeds of the present, if they can, if they can, they can turn on the show and go, oh my God, maybe that is where we're going to be 25 years from now. I get it. Look, oh my phone can track where I am now. Oh look, it ends up in this really terrifying place. That's really cool, um, and that's what we're really trying to do. What's the one piece of technology you've used so far on the show that you think will actually happen? Um, I think, you know what, actually I think there's a lot of it that could actually happen. I mean, you know, it's going to sound funny, but like even a, a, a synthetic, an android like Dorian in the show, when you really look at where robotics is going and going incredibly quickly, you go, well, maybe that's not so, so weird. Uh, maybe that's not so impossible. Um, you know there are there are you know these mylar sheet displays like they're, they look like a piece of plastic. I think you, if you saw the pilot, you know, like uh, uh, Carl's character hands one to another guy, and it, like the display changes on it. It's literally a computer in a tiny plastic sheet. That's going to happen. <laughs> you know, it, it, it may even happen in the next you know 10 to 15 years. It's like, but we're trying really really hard to, to ground the show that way um, in as much reality as possible. You know, you're not. Are you going to see people teleporting like in Star Trek? Eh, probably not. You know, are you going to see spaceships in the show? Almost definitely not. <laughs> you going to try to sneak some of it in? I think. You know what? The answer to that is, if if there's a reason for it and that 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 would be believable, you got to be so careful to not break the reality that you're creating because suddenly. You're gonna say, oh, it's a science fiction show. Oh, it's a. You're not gonna see aliens in this show, you know. Um, I don't think, you know, um, because that again suddenly makes it into something else, um, and that's really not what we're talking about. I think the the core, the spine of the show, in many ways, is about the intersection of biology and technology, um, and and those are our themes that I think you'll see over and over again in the program.